Hello everyone and welcome back to another session of Elden Ring PvP and another weapon showcase. Today we're taking a look at the Nox Flowing Hammer. It is a weapon that you get uh, starting at the path uh, from the Night Sacred Ground side of Grace in Nokron. You have to go up the stairs and in that room, after you go up the stairs, there will be a ladder at the back of the room. Go up the ladder, follow the path, and there will be an altar and a hallway to the uh, right side of the altar. You go down that path, that little hallway, and then to the right, again, there will be an open window. Jump out the window onto the rooftops, follow that rooftop path until you find another window you can jump in through, and then once you jump in, you'll be able to grab the weapon. I'll have an image on screen showing the location. This weapon is pretty fun to use. I like it a lot. There's a lot of good stuff going on with it. The skill is really, really great, and that kind of makes this weapon. But let's get started with the basics. It requires 17 strength and 7 dexterity to wield, and it weighs 6.5 units. It is a somber weapon, so the skill on this one is flowing form, and you are stuck with it, but that's a good thing. At plus 10, it has a physical base damage of 298, a B scaling in strength, and a D scaling in dexterity. And that sums up the basics of this weapon. It's pretty straightforward as far as the moveset is concerned. It is a hammer class weapon, so it doesn't have the best moveset in the game. It doesn't have the best reach. It is a bit shorter than the Scepter of the All-Knowing, and its moveset isn't as viable because it doesn't have those thrusting attacks that the Scepter of the All-Knowing does. So that's a downside, but the skill on the weapon flowing form is phenomenal and more than makes up for it and there's a couple of reasons for that first and foremost is the reach that this skill has you've seen me use it in a number of fights up to this point and that 360 degree spin that it does around you is huge it covers such a massive distance and even if someone does dodge out of the initial swing the follow-up that it has where you smash the hammer down does uh, lead to some people dodging into it and getting hit like this guy did earlier on in the fight. So that is a good thing with the weapon. Now that said, if you do land the first hit, you're basically guaranteed to combo. Um, the only time I've seen it where it doesn't have a guaranteed combo is when there's a bit of lag involved, so keep that in mind. But overall, if you land that first swing from flowing form, you're going to land the second. And it does pancake people, which is nice. That said, other pros of the weapon, I would say, are pretty uh, limited. The damage on the weapon is pretty decent overall. I can't complain about that. For the weight and for the speed that it has, it works out well enough. The weapon does struggle, though, in a number of categories. There are a good number of cons for this weapon. First of which, I would say, would be the moveset. It's really not great at chasing people down. They are able to dodge pretty reliably, and that makes it not overly easy to use the weapon because backpedaling is such an easy thing and hard thing. It's an easy thing to do and a hard thing to punish in this game. The only saving grace is that flowing form covers such a large distance, and that can mitigate the shortcomings of the mace. So it kind of just is what it is in that regard. Other cons of the weapon would basically be standard for this weapon's class. The hammer class does struggle at chasing people down. The damage for the hammer class isn't the greatest. The fact that you've got a guaranteed two-hit combo is nice with this weapon because of its skill. But otherwise, damage is kind of... It's good for what it is. I'll just leave it at that. It's a good thing and a bad thing. In com it's good for its class and bad in comparison to others. So, you know. Um, other than that, though, cons of the weapon, like I said, are really mostly limited to the moveset because it's not good at being an aggressive kind of moveset. That's really where it struggles. If you play more defensively, have a lot of poise, then you can make it work a little bit better really force people to engage you and then you play reactively to it. Playing aggressively with the weapon is hard to do because there are not many good moves in its moveset for that style of play. So keep that in mind when you're using it. Maybe don't play the way that I do with it because it's not the smart way to play with the weapon. 
it's really hard to engage people with it because you don't have a lot of attacks with good forward momentum. The running R2 when two-handed is pretty nice because it's a wide sweep, and that is a decent thing to have. But if you compare it to another hammer class weapon like the Scepter of the All-Knowing that has a thrust, that just simple change, it just changes how the weapon plays to such a degree because you can chase people down with it much more successfully. Because you can do those crouch pokes with the Scepter of the All-Knowing, you can combo with it and roll catch with it much more easily as well. That said, this weapon doesn't have that, so it's in a more similar vein to the uh, Monk's Flame Mace, where it's just kind of okay, but not great. The only benefit over the Flame Mace is that this one is a bit longer of a reach, so that's a really good thing, because otherwise, if this thing were as short as the Monk's Flame Mace, we'd have a problem. It's already a hard enough weapon to use having to rely on the skill so heavily, so you kind of need to take what you can get with this thing. Either way, though, that's all I've got to say on it. It is a fun weapon to use in spite of the cons. The skill is very satisfying to land. It's a really fun thing to mess around with. It's not the most viable weapon. You'll have to work hard to get some wins with it from time to time but it's a satisfying weapon to use, and that's really all that matters at the end of the day. That all said, there is one fight left after this one. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video, found it helpful in one way or another. I want to just go ahead and say thank you all for sticking around, and for those of you who have been liking the videos, leaving comments on them. It's helped out the channel a lot this past month. I really do appreciate all of it, and it means a lot to me, so thank you guys. Thank you all so much. But anyway... There's one fight left after this one, as I've said. Thank you again all for stopping, stopping by, sticking around, so on and so on. And I'll see you all next time.